This story is about our special cat Gimli. We got Gimli when he was about 16 weeks old. He was such a sweetie, so we were very happy we were chosen and we could give him his forever home. The first time when he was home, he actually felt like home already. And it was so sweet. Also when Noah, our daughter, was there at the first time when he was still at his cattery home, they had a special bond because he wanted to play with her. He started purring when she was cuddling him. And the most sweetest thing was that he wanted to lie on her um, blanket next to her. And then when we were home, he started to get used to all the activities we were doing in the house. And one time we live in an apartment, have a big balcony where he can also play and watch the outside, like bird watching. But he also watched my daughter um, doing sports on her skates. So he was meowing. And at that moment, we actually knew he wanted to be with her. So we tried to go outside with him so he can have a little walk. And it actually went really well for the first time. We let him get adjust to the harness. So he knew when we have the harness, he was going on a walk. Um, also, we get a great advice from some other CatVenture friends to get a backpack. So after some studying, which backpack we love most, we purchased one. And that was actually the best tip we have got so far. Um, we put it in our living room so he can adjust to it and put a little blanket in it so it has his smell. And he actually went in and uh, stayed there for a little while. He slept there in as well. And we slowly got more outside with him. He also loves to explore uh, because he's very curious and he wants to do it on his own pace. So um, it's actually not that he follow, follows our daughter, but the other way around. Where he goes, she goes. Um, and only with her, and that's really special, he loves to run. Um, we're happy she's very sportive and so fast because sometimes he can really run fast um, and then they have so much fun. And also when we are in the forest or somewhere else, you really see that they love each other. She also respects his boundaries. So when he has enough, um, he just sits there, sometimes gives a little mouth and then we pick him up, put him in a backpack um, and that's it. Um, we go for a walk further on, um, but now he's really getting bigger. Um, and we just got a new backpack, which is a little bit more lightweighted, so Noah can have his backpack also on her back, so we can have more fun together. He also loves to go outside with uh, me, his Meow Me. And um, yeah, that's a different bond, because I think he really sees me as like his uh, yeah, human mom, um, because the first moments and weeks he was at home, I was at home as well. I took some days off, so he can adjust to the home and also to me. Um, and he loves to sleep next to me. Um, I'm the only human he does that with, so that's a special thing for me. But when Noah comes home from school, he loves to play with her, they always cuddle. She gives him a lot of nose kisses. Um, he starts purring and actually he also wants to play. She has some homework, but actually she prefers playing with him than doing her homework. Uh, but that's fine, you know, I think uh, when you come home, you need to have some relaxed moment and he really waits for her. So that's the most loveliest bond, uh, yeah, we can see here.